All right, hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Mad Crown. It's a roguelike. It's like a turn-based tactical roguelike with cards, different characters, permadeath, obviously, apparently mod support, and like a bunch of other things. There's too much to count, and honestly, I haven't played this game yet because I want to go into it fresh. Uh, and so I guess we'll get the full read on it as we go along. There's a couple of things I should talk about. Uh, so for starters, this game is, as far as I can tell, fully releasing September 28th, so that's in a... What's that? Nine days from the day this video goes up, probably. Um, and uh, the other thing is, this is a sponsored series. I almost never do these. I almost never agree to do these, but this game was on my to-do list since it came out uh, in, what, January? Uh, but it just never fit in the schedule, and then I, the developers actually approached me saying like, Hey, we'd love to sponsor a series on Mad Crown, and I'm like, alright! So anyway, th now that that's out of the way, we got some more talking points to go through, but they are very minor. So let's actually start the game. We are the new adventure. We are the... Well, I wanted to be the Indomitable Fish. I'm not even sure if I spelled that right. Indomitable. Yeah, alright, got it. Well, I wanted to be the Indomitable Fish. But I guess I'm the indomitable fee, so we'll just go with that. Transwar,真神会授予选注之人象征着全知全能的王冠。一旦戴上王冠,任何人都能直接领受神的指引,拥有远超人类的知识。第一位先知罗德里格斯依靠这份力量建立光之先知并在荒土上复兴人类文明王冠在先知死后会被传给下一位周而复始一切都按部就班如常进行直到第十二位先知庞福里加冕在加冕后三个月庞福里与王冠一起失去踪迹王冠消失的消息迅速传遍整个奥利文萨大陆为了寻找丢失的王冠无数人献上了自己的性命事态已经超出了光之先知的控制哪怕找到王冠这场混乱恐怕也不会结束经过数年的探索王冠的位置最终被锁定到一处远古的遗迹为了能找到王冠冒险者逐渐形成团体并在遗迹周边建立聚落陆陆续续有新的冒险者听闻了遗迹的名声起行来到此处 Nether Path Level 1 Okay, press WASD on the map to move. You can switch to joysticks in the configuration. Uh, you must still be able to click. Okay. Yeah, one of the things that drew me to this game originally is uh, the visual style. It's It's got this very nice, like... I almost want to call it, like, a clean, cartoonier version of... Kind of? Uh, I guess the thick black outlines and whatever initially reminded me of uh, Darkest Dungeon, but slightly differently. Okay, tips. Move your character on, onto an item to pick it up. Uh, un unknown pre predecessor. There we go. Alright, so we received a minor health potion. Restores HP and increase max HP. Okay, so that's a little bit more helpful. Specs events for rare items. Alright, we got a rebirth emblem. Resurrect a teammate. One extra move is allowed during uh, after using the emblem. Move forth. Yeah, the the menu music is fantastic, too. Okay, so drag the card from the inventory to the center of the screen and drop it to use. Okay. So, we got some more stuff. All traps of this level are visible? Sure. 
I like the card mechanics. I don't know if it's going to be a deck builder or if it's kind of just random what cards you get, but I, I like I like cards, and these are actually really nice looking. Like, uh, the I don't know. I, I'm I'm a vain person. I love I love pretty games. A lot to take in here. So another resurrect teammate. Oh no no, we got another minor health potion. Okay, use detection prayer to detect hidden traps in the room. All right. Uh, falling stone trap hits Lunod. Now, I want to take a look at this. So his health is down to a bare minimum. I I know I walked into that one on purpose. I want to see how lethal the traps are. Well, we're still in the tutorial, and the answer is they are way lethal. Hidden locker. All right, another rebirth emblem. Looks like they've got a lot of re uh like healing and revival items, which is nice. Might get worse. Okay, so equip heroes to increase their power. Received a bone sword. Let's take a look at Lunod. Oh, bloody smell. Oh, attracts bloodthirsty targets. Okay, so are these characters that different? Vertical chop, physical damage, charge and deal physical damage, stuns the target. Damage taken will be reduced by half and will always crit the next round. Okay. And for each crit hit, increase attack of all team members for one round. So this character's a, a, a you know, crit kind of assassin type character. And cross chop, daggers flying, physical damage to two random enemies, reduce the damage taken by half, and increase dodge chance, and then counterattack. Okay, uh, so let's let's give him the bone sword, because the daggers flying seems rather helpful. Okay, and let's check the rotten corpse out. We got some more stuff, so I'm gonna I'm gonna put that on on him, seeing as he took the damage. I cannot honestly tell. Uh, the genders of these characters, but I also don't mind that much. I really like these little tutorial drawings. They're cute. They they did their own illustrations instead of just reusing the assets. Anyway, you'll engage in battle with a monster when reaching, uh, so as soon as, you know, they see you. All right. Well, things are happening. Okay, here we go. So... Passive is counterattack, so we could do Shadow Dance, reduce damage taken by half, increase dodge chance. I could use that immediately, or we could go with uh, Daggers Flying. Now, it says something about cost. I'm assuming that's what the yellow meter is. We've got a turn order up above. Okay, Disoriented, attack a random unit, uh, friendly or hostile, it skips around, wake up if it takes effect. Oh, okay, so if it gets hit. And Eyeball, eyeball Dude is... Eyeball dude is is currently aggressive, so we might as well we might as well kill him first. Okay, Azrael is hypnotized. I wish I could like hover over these guys and actually see what their their names are and stuff. It'd be easier to refer to them, but that's okay. Victory, Source Roads, and Sob tops up. Huh. Okay, so we get percentage bonus to health, physical attack, physical defense, magical attack, magical defense. Neat. Okay, move forth. Yeah, the combat seems pretty quick. It doesn't get bogged down in too many of the animations. And it doesn't... I don't know. Hello. You came for the crown, right? It's dangerous. Let's help each other. Sure. I can heal you in battle. So we now we now have a healer. Cool. You can find great loots from cursed chests, though it brings a harmful effect. Doing it! Alright. Weak curse for three rounds. Die from any attack. Removed after a few rounds. This effect can't be removed in any other way. Okay. Delicate effect from Chris Chess may cause a character to die from any attack. It's a good idea to delay a safe combat to run out the duration. Gotcha. So rebirth shield to the target makes it so they come back if they die. Let's use it on her. We don't have to worry about it. Deal lightning damage to all enemies. Small but popular charm. So extra hit, crit, speed. Increase attack level by one if they dodge an attack. If I remember right, that was... No. That reduces damage taken in the next round. So we don't actually have a character that's... That's... Specifically designed for dodging. I guess we're gonna put it on her. Can we? There we go. So it looks like equipment's almost kind of random, um, what you equip. Because I, I can... Maybe? Maybe it is, like, weapon, armor, and amulet. Because there are the little symbols up here. Alright, I don't know. We'll figure it out. 
Hello, horror creature. Okay, so we have deal divine damage, heal a friendly unit, reduce damage taken by half, or if if overflow any healing, restore six stamina. So, if we overheal somebody, uh, she gets stamina back. Well, might as well just zap him. Uh, charge shop. Let's stun him. And try and kill this guy. Nope, didn't get him. Good. I'm trying to, uh, I'm trying to kill as much time as possible, so we can just run out the weak curse, if we're lucky. Dagger's flying, and miss completely. But I can keep, I can keep stunning them, potentially. That's good. Well, Source of Roads, okay. Oh, the sore, not the sob. I thought it was the sob for the first time I saw it, and I was like, what? Odd choice, but that's okay. Discarded Tent. So, Detection Prayer and a Purify Prayer. Remove a curse from an item, and let's make all traps visible, just just for the sake of safety. Okay, Altar of Regeneration. Uh... Him? Okay, avoid the traps. No, she's still got the, uh, die from any attack going on. Uh... Holy Light. Dagger's flying. Nope, no counterattack. And, oh! Okay, we got lucky. She didn't actually die from any attack. I, we must have just run out the duration of the- I should have hit him, actually, now that they- Never mind! I don't actually know if Dagger's flying is worth it, but that's okay. Alright. No, it is the sob. What? There's some typos in this. Why did I do that? Remove a curse from an item. That one. It's cursed, can't be used. Okay. Yeah, I I think we're still on the tutorial. We might not actually be on the tutorial. Uh, I'm still learning how big this grid is to some degree, but I don't know. It's also like, I'm going to try and make as many mistakes as early as possible. Uh, so that I... Is this guy just always disoriented? Is, is he just garbage? He might be. Uh, holy light. Yeah, I'll just hit it. We don't have any immediate, like, A removes, but as worked. Probably should have actually aimed for the other guy, but whatever. Uh, who's turns up? You! Well, he's just dead. Never mind! And he runs away in fear. Okay. Uh, I f have no idea if I'm actually still in the tutorial or not. Can I, like, get rid of... Oh! Uh, let's leave. I, I don't know if Cursed makes it never work. Or, no, okay, well, let's just, uh, let's just toss that one, because I don't think it's gonna help me at all. Or, oh, does it just sit on the ground? Alright, I'll just carry it with me until we run into, we run out of inventory. So what are these? Oh, people died here. Okay, so this is actually a great opportunity to explain a new mechanic, uh, that is one of my several talking points, uh, getting through them. Anyway, uh, so interesting thing about this game is they've got... Uh, they've got some level of a social media interaction, and so when adventuring around in a, in a dungeon, you might actually run into something like this, which is a, a gravestone. This is this is where they, they fell in battle, where they got defeated. And and what this is, is effectively like a, a means where you can go up to their party, interact with it, and I guess like revive them or rescue them or like get something from it, and it, and it goes uh, back to the... Back to the person, I believe? Let me pull up the exact details on this. Alright, the answer is, uh... I, I just pulled up the, the full blurb. So, when you're fighting a boss, and all your characters may die, at this point, the game will create a rescue code. And you can post the code on Facebook or social media. All other players who see this code can enter it in their game to rescue the dead player. Interesting. Okay, so this is slightly different from what I was expecting. So the gravestones might be more of a, like, a warning. Oh, exactly. It's a it's a warning like this thing's hard. It's a boss, so we'll have to see how the rescue si situation works. Oh, this is designed entirely to wreck wreck my face immediately. However, it looks like they're also working on murdering each other, so we'll see how this goes. Either way, I am I am doomed. Now, does okay? So using these.
using these is going to going to be a problem. Uh, let's charge shop him. I think he's going to flee on his turn. If we're lucky. Oh god, they do hundreds of damage. Okay, he does he does flee. We might actually be able to pull this off. Probably not. We are probably hella doomed. Oh, we are hella doomed. I like the card system. It's nice. And she is quite dead. Or, nope, she came back. Alright. Uh, prayer. Nope. Zap him. Hopefully the poison damage. Lose eighth of HP every round. I might actually be able to pull this off. I don't know how long that poison lasts. Now, we have, we have the guaranteed crit, so we should probably hit him for no damage. Ow. And he's mind controlled. Great. Well, let's. I'm. I'm gonna lose here. Probably. But I'm gonna try and pull it off and let the uh, let the poison kill him, if we're lucky. We don't have a whole lot of revival items. Uh, let's do shadow, shadow dash. What I want to do is charge shot, but I don't think I can do it. Oh, because we're out of stamina. Okay. Heal friendly unit. Let's keep let's keep dodging. Okay, we can restore stamina, but that's not gonna help. This cannot be used. Okay. Ah, oh, we were so close, but the poison ran out anyway. Well, that's unfortunate. But, uh, it's fine. Okay, so... Uh, now that we've got out of the tutorial, we've got this, and so this is where the real game picks up, and I'm kind of excited for that. So, new explorers, join your team. So, I think the way that works is, uh, if, if somebody were to find my gravestone in battle, or if they took my code or whatever, they could effectively rescue that team that died, and then bring them back in, into camp. So, let's take a look at the sob. So, the source of roads, which is actually the sore. So, 20 terabytes required for expansion. So this looks to be our meta progression system to some degree. I don't know if it's um, permanent or specific to the run. Obviously, this will be something we learn as we go along. So gain a flea arcano when entering the runes. Thunder arcano when entering the runes. Enter the runes with an initial level of three of the source of roads. Max fell increase. Restore stamina for each step. Inventory capacity. Restore 20% of health for team members with the lowest HP. Reduce fell by five when using a prayer. Chance to reveal nearby traps when moving. Find more treasure in the runes. And all team members' max health increased by 10% and defense increased by 14%. Neat. Obviously, this is going to take some time to get through. And this is this is our full team. So we've got some more characters. Unlock win. Clear stage, sacrifices pathway. Black ice guard. Entrance of darkness. And... Wow, it's actually a decent number of them, each with their own moveset. Sealed Door, Chaotic Mirage, Labyrinth of Punishment, Glazed Garden, and Glazed Hall. Neat. Uh, oh, and my inventory is just baseline still cursed. I should have hoarded those items instead of, instead of throwing them away. Oh. So I learned. So let's talk to Rocklong. It's been just two days and newcomers have arrived. You're the rumored adventurer, right? A new guy, I see. Listen, I'm a collector. I collect valuable things. And valuable things usually come from the runes. And I gather many adventurers are here. I am trustworthy. I pay good money for good things. Are you looking for the crown like me? Kind of funny to mention, but I don't even know which side of the knife to hold. I'm here for my wife. She's sick. And a disease that even the church can't deal with. Find the crown and I might have a chance to cure my wife. I would do anything for her. Ah, uh, sorry, I've mumbled a bit to myself. Take it, I made it myself. I'm too weak for a place like the runes, but you, you may make the best of it. All right, so we get a Roman rifle. Are you, ah, sorry, I mistook you for another person. 
He looked like one of my friends. He ventured into the rooms a few days ago. He didn't make it. I'm not as... Oh, this might actually... I don't know, anyway. He's not as competent as I am, but reliable enough. I've seen enough of people like you. Pride, arrogance, then death. Or even worse, madness. If you don't believe me, go there yourself. I would have done something good if it would have been... Uh, if it were helpful. Alright, so we get weapon enhanced level plus one, up to plus three. Neat. Chico of Clan Bow. I'm here for one thing. No, 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 don't take me wrong, I'm not here for the crown. I like music. People inspire me. Music excites me. I'm in the middle of my new song. I'm expecting some inspiration here. So we can trade with this guy. He sells basic equipment, usable items, and whatnot. Can I... Can I sell my, my cursed junk? There we go. So there was a reason to hold on to it. Your weapon won't work. Dangerous lurk beneath the runes. You don't want to bring bad equipment there. I can help you with that if you want. So I can merge. I can jam stuff together. Equipment base, ability material, and preview. Interesting, but it cost me eyeball. Whatever that is, so can't do that. Well, I guess I can do that, but still. Okay, runes legend. Infected labor. Coward. Flea of Salon. Oh! So these are... This is the... The monsters. The... I guess the, the monster manual. That's neat. Achievements. Piece of cake. Statistics. Time played. 18 minutes. And that's all the tutorial. Let's dive into a run. Story mode. Trial of Fantasy. Glazed Rune. Endless Abyss. Well... Oh boy, there's a lot here. So runes level 5. Golden items available. Lose all possessions if defeated. God is asleep. While the darkness awakens, the mourners depart from here. For the tomb in the end. The innocent shall pray. And the light shall befall. The legend of the runes. Onwards! So the game is saved per action, so you can actually just quit whenever you want. Well, that's lovely. Okay, so for starters, do we still have all of our equipment? We do. In that case, I'm going to give this guy the rifle. And, oh, this is for enhancing that, um, that, uh, this would have been the enchantment thing that we could have worked with. Because I bet I can't use that. No, I can just use it wherever I want. Okay, well, let's use it on the Roman rifle. So it adds... Plus one to it, which increases the damage by five. Not bad. I like these systems. They're neat. There's a lot of rare stuff in Perilous's belly. It'd be kind of neat if you could actually leave, like, tips and signs for other players. Okay. And here's where the music is. I was wondering when we were going to get music. There's two daggers flying. Oh, these guys are tough. Wait, bleed immunity, Goofy. Goofy like the poo. Won't do anything and will get hit by every attack. Stun. Skip around. Okay. So it looks like most of them are just going to run away. Physical damage, physical damage, take one more action if you kill the enemy. And we'll always hit the next action, increase damage by 50%. Nah, better to shoot him. That does some damage. I'm going to... Oh, he's still stunned. Yeah, we're going to just obviously focus fire this sucker. See if we can kill him. I'm going to make sure that we at least kind of kill him. I wanted to kill at least one of them. <laughs> Okay, Flea Arcana. Escape from the combat and teleport to a random spot, and we also get a needle. Uh, so I'll give it to her. Not a whole lot of damage, but whatever. Okay, Rotten Corpse. Inspect. So we get Holy Road plus two. I'm gonna give it to the Frontliners. And there's a trap. Ow. Oh! Lunod's equipment's corroded. Oh, so it reduces the uh, the quality of it by one. That's rough. So, so traps aren't immediately as lethal as that first one that I ran into. But it, uh, they can be. Okay, so that's an event. That's the exit. So let's get whatever this is. Decadent bookshelf. So heal all teammates by half max HP and sleep all enemies for three rounds. I wonder if we have to worry about inventory spaces. Hidden locker. So we get a sleep emblem and a rebirth emblem. The next level. So, pretty consistent uh, basic dungeon crawler, but instead of the standard, like, walk up and just wail on them situation, it's more of a, uh, it's more of a, you get, you get brought into a, a, a darkest dungeon style. Uh, okay. Darkest dungeon style. 
exploration area system-ish. Okay, so we actually have to worry about our stamina cost a little bit more. And there's no pass a turn, is there? We do have the minor stamina potion, so I should probably consider using those, but I guess I'm just gonna wail on this guy in the back, because this guy's asleep. So it costs zero, costs 20, I see. So as long as I don't use my secondary moves, we're okay. And also it does look like frontline, backline matters uh, a lot when it comes to this game. If an enemy's uh, on the front line, Uh, like effectively, it's it's ranged weapons can hit every every uh, row. Or I guess column in this case, and uh, and melee has to hit the front row, kill everybody in front of them. That's not so bad. Oh, this guy's level eight. Oh, that's scary. And whose turn is next? We have no idea. Okay, it's. It's hurting. It's not hurting too much. Let's stun it. I think we get stamina back by, like, adventuring around. Otherwise, I've got the uh, stamina potions that I can use. Uh, at least regular attacks don't uh, cost too much. And that was worth a lot, lot of sore. Sore, sob. Okay, Hidden Locker has got... Sealed target for four rounds, one extra move. Hypnotize for extra... Rounds. Okay. And we get a minor stamina potion. I should probably use some of these. Let's use the altar of regeneration. Oh, the trap is not triggered. Okay. So, this time the eyeball is only worth three. Can she heal herself? No, she can't. Okay, that's... That's a, an issue. Okay. We should probably go for the eyeball. It's asleep. Because this guy is disoriented and he'll he'll just uh he'll just shoot potentially shoot his allies. Who knows who he's going to go for? I I certainly don't. It does look like it attacks twice, which is a bit of a uh issue. Not a big one though. Oh, good. So, it's not even that, uh, that you have to clear out the front row first. You just have to clear out... Uh, you just have to clear out anybody that is uh, in front. So I could get that guy, but I'm not going to be able to hit that guy in melee until... Okay. Makes perfect sense. Uh, let's heal him. This guy's a little tougher than I was banking on. We'll use a stamina potion when I get the chance. I guess I didn't need to hit him there, because he... Uh... Because he was stunned. I probably should have, uh... No! I wanted to kill you! Whatever. And yeah, so instead of leveling up as a, uh... As an individual, I believe we level up as a team, and we just get, like, a small percentage bonus to our base stats. That's kind of appreciated. Uh, let's try... Okay. And it does look like we get some amount of health and stamina back. Uh, just walking around. Okay, maybe just health. Okay, knocked out by any hit, but we did get some three, uh, some boots. So that's the exit. I wonder if that ever ticks down. Doesn't look like it. Yeah, I wonder how many, uh, floors we have to get to. Yeah, so far, I mean, it, it does play like, uh, any, any standard old dungeon crawler roguelike, but I'm, I'm digging how it's, how it's handling things instead of just, you know, uh, like, the actual, I guess, super traditional? No, that's poison healing. That's purification? Let's try it? Nope. So you can't get rid of curses. Period. I was hoping purification would get rid of curses. But, of course, that's convenient. Okay, so speed level reduced. Five rounds. And we get stuff. So I'm going to close this for a second. We got to use...
We gotta use some items. Because my my inventory is getting mad full. Because I don't I don't use the runes because I'm just holding on to them like crazy. Okay. Is it my turn? Cool. So everyone is asleep. Cool. So we're gonna just run the clock until that curse uh, goes away. I could probably fight them, but they're level 5. This could be tough. And insta-losing a character doesn't sound very fun. Okay, so I think this is going to be the end of her weak curse. Let's just do serum therapy on him. And the weak curse is gone. Good! Alright. Let's go for... Zombie monster. What is that? That's like every child's worst nightmare vegetable. It's not okay. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. It doesn't look good. Okay, well, guess I get to kill this guy. Maybe we want to do the double dagger thing? Eh. I should be able to shoot it. <laughs> the gun did... The gunner guy does so much more damage. Okay. Let's just have her do prayer, get some stamina back. So not not too bad. I really, really like the art that they've gone with for the game. I uh I almost kinda wish the, the rest of the dungeon looked like the, the battle scene. You know, if we were like going horizontally or something like that, but oh well, I mean it's not the end of the world. It does keep things simple. That's a lot of stuff. Hello! So we want to probably kill Goofball in the front first if we can. Uh, let's do some damage to him. I don't know if I'm going to be able to. What do we? What else do we have? Oh, it's asleep. Okay, what else do we have? Purify, harmful effects, seal all enemies, heal. No, nothing. Okay. Let's go back to wailing on him if we can. Because I don't want him to flee. Okay, so the, the gunner should be able to take care of this. I don't actually know if this is a good idea. But I need as much EXP as I can possibly get my hands on. So yeah, unable to use an ability. Is it? It's dead. Alright, we're good. So these guys are both asleep. That, that makes my life a little bit easier. Uh, do serum therapy and then we're... Or serum therapy and then we're probably going to want to work on uh, getting her stamina back before we do anything else. Ow. I... What? Game had this like visual style. The very stark black outlines. I guess to some degree, I have the art book for uh, Darksiders, and it looks kind of similar in some ways, but that's not it. There, there's another game that I'm trying to think of, and I'm I'm coming up with blanks, but it looks real nice. Uh, let's see. No, we want to. We want her to keep generating as much stamina as we possibly can. It'd be a shame if our healer was to effectively. Oh, disoriented. That's a pain. I was like, why did he just shoot my guy in the back? Do I have to worry about that? Do I have to move the gunner to the front just so we can shoot the people in the front? What game was I playing where that would happen? Where your characters would just shoot each other in, in the back like a jerk. Okay, so we don't need altars of purification. We do need more fights. Uh, let's see. Holy light. No. Serum therapy. Let's, let's just keep healing this guy one up as we go along. Um, the problem is these eyeball guys are... Oh, it's that poison immunity. Gotcha. These eyeball guys are asleep. Uh, I'm going to make a judgment call and go for the go for the top one if I can. And she is poisoned. Well, that's bad. Is he just still disoriented? 
Okay, so status effects like that carry over between rounds. That's a problem. Okay. This is an issue. This is an issue. No, 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 no. Oh. I tried doing right-click to cancel that, but it didn't work. Okay. I guess we'll just kill that guy, seeing as he's available. We are getting... slammed with status effects here. It's bad. I think we'll be okay at this point. And yeah, the, the strength level plus one is kind of handy. Actually, uh, Death Sniper? Ooh. I haven't actually used that move yet. It does damage. Alright, we're good. But unfortunately, poisoned? Does that carry over? It does. Oh, that's bad. Oh, wait. Less bad. Heal him up. Okay. So we get a flail. We should probably get some of this equipment on, on my characters. Okay, so who's got garbage equipment? Actually, they all kind of do. The gun is by far the, the best thing I've got in my, my setup. Okay, corroding damage, poison target. More corroding damage, poison the target. Alright. I do appreciate that there's no random... Uh, random battles. Like, every monster that you fight, you can see. Or could see if it... You know, it doesn't kind of jump out at you. Traps, on the other hand, are a little bit meaner. Okay, lootables. So we get a minor stamina potion. Not immediately useful. Hello! I mean, I should probably get rid of, rid of like, the thief boots. And maybe take a look at what some of these status effects are, use are useful for. Okay. Well, the front guy's asleep, so let's leave him for a second. Uh, seal all enemies. Actually, let's do that. That way they don't poison me. This is the Death Snipers. Dude, this guy is great. I'm gonna have to worry about his uh, stamina a little bit, but he is real effective. I wonder if we can get any characters that have, like, extreme AoE moves, or... I, like, I'm actually really curious if there's a... Uh, what kind of meta progression there is for this game. If any? Oh, we could have actually done Death Sniper. Ah, damn. I probably shouldn't, just because, you know, costly stamina-wise. Is a consideration. Let's just keep hitting him. And we're good. All right. And we've got items. Lootables. More corrosive potions. Um, can I get both? Inventory is full. I don't want to heal. That's the other stamina potion. I might regret this these decisions. We'll see how it goes. I'm effectively hoping that we can go into the next fight and destroy them. Store minor HP, cure poison, and venom, and increase okay. Get rid of the thief boots. Maybe holding onto equipment would be the smarter choice, but I don't know. Only physical damage is affected by attack attributes. Other damage types are infected are affected by M attack. Figured as much. I don't know if we have the ability to really alert a fell source on roads. Okay. I maybe it's a uh, it's a timer. If you spend too much time exploring, you get in trouble. Okay. 
All monsters at this level visible. Let's put away the flail and the fur armor for the time being. Oh, okay, so that, that's a timer there. Effectively, as we go along... As we go along, that timer ticks up. And things get... Dangerous. It's like the ghost in Spelunky. I actually kind of appreciate that. That's straight up Metal Gear Solid. Okay, uh, let's see, and I pretty much have to hit this guy here, even if I wanted to hit anybody else, but that dad, let's go for the veg monster before it, uh, before it poisons me, there we go, yeah, hopefully there's kind of a meta progression for this game, uh, I get, uh, I guess if there's not, I'm not going to be heartbroken. Okay, let's heal him up. She's getting a fair bit better at healing. I've... Less of a grasp of... What exactly, uh... Is... Good in this game. Like, whenever we level up, it's like, okay. You know, how much did we level up? Was this worth it? But then again, it probably is, considering the enemies. Uh, we're just keeping on par with the enemy's level. Unless it's one of those where they scale up with us and it's actually not worth it for, uh... I probably should have actually healed the frontliner. Oh well. I don't know. More poison corrosion. I probably should use these. Okay, so we're just gonna chuck the health potion at him. Okay, more stamina potions. I want to go with the other group. I I am worried about the uh, the fell meter filling up on us and catching us kind of by surprise. Dead ends. So yeah, it it punishes you. Cursed chest, a small but popular charm. Let's switch these out. So weak curse. And a standard. Uh, let's see. Actually, I'm gonna put the charm on him. Dodge crit hit. Reduce targets. Teammates PDF. Oh. Never mind. We wanted to put on this guy because he's got. He's supposed to be the the crit person. Okay. And yeah, we're just gonna fight a lot of these. Now, weak curse is going to be a bit of a pain. We only have one Resurrection st Stone. Uh... I'm just gonna seal a lot of them. Maybe that'll force them into melee. Well, that works. That didn't work. Okay, so he's trying to flee. Okay, so it looks like sealing them was was the right way to go. Because I don't... We cleared this group quick. So he's trying to flee. I think I'll have time before he gets out of here. There we go. Stun him. No escape! No escape! And we're good. Alright, tops up. And immediately other fight, but we don't have to worry about insta-kills. And honestly, I think I might be a little bit more uh, egregious with my stamina usage now. Like, specifically that move is kind of amazing. Because I am actually kind of cutting my way through these guys pretty quick. And they're... Oh, he almost got counter-attacked. Oh, that'd be bad. I didn't even realize he was disoriented. And yeah, that could have gone real bad. Oh, that's okay. Alright, so we're up to level 9. Now let's quickly deal with these. Fungi.
Poison and Venom immune. Oh, that's helpful. Which means... I want to give it to her, because she... She can't heal herself. Okay, what else do we have? We got the Corrosive. Let's get rid of the Fear Potion. In favor of... Mm, no. In favor of the Sleep Arcana. That way I can pick and choose my enemies. We get more poison. And we have a Rotten Corpse with Fur Armor and a Wood Sword. Both of which are pretty bad. So I'll just leave them there. Get out of here. I wonder how many levels there are. I'm hoping there's just five. We'll see how it goes. Because if there's a if there's a boss here, awesome. And if it oh yeah, this is a boss fight. Alright, I'm prepared to die. A dark and deep pathway. Alright, so we're level 9, everything looks fairly decent. Let's poison the boss, because it's an eighth of its HP every round. Okay, so what else do we have? So nobody's poisoned, everybody is confused. Balls. Okay. Uh, now we know, at least. So if if you are conf if your characters are confused, they will use uh, the wrong move on each other. I don't know about disoriented there. We'll have him do shadow dance. Yeah, when in doubt, just use. Uh... Okay, can't can't be stunned again. In that case, we could wait for timing. Let's do that. These guys aren't that strong. Alright, well this this makes it easier. I guess I did need to use those potions. Uh aim and shoot. Well this is I guess I'm the same level as the boss, so it's not that bad. I thought we were going to run into trouble here, but no this 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 boss ain't much. I was really hoping that would actually hit the boss uh twice, but doesn't look like it. Okay, so we're up to ten. And are we done? Is that it? Number of deaths, for sure. So return to camp with all items, and a blood dagger. Ooh! Okay, so let's give that to him. For obvious reasons. Okay, back to game. And if I do this, what happens? Do we just leave? Daily Fate Unknown. Dungeon Layer 5. Took 26 minutes, killed 39 monsters, bunch of things. Explored the dungeon 100%. And... Expansion of Source of Roads success. New modules available. Awesome. So that's the meta progression. Probably. Okay, so he has joined our team. We've unlocked the sealed door. And upgrade the source of roads to improve your power. Got it. All right, so let's take a look at this thing. So, gain a flea arcana when entering the area, or thunder arcana when entering the runes. Let's go with that. Oh, I see. So, this is the meta progression. So, every time we reach one of these milestones, it improves the source of roads. So, all team members' max health increases by 10%. Attack by 25%. Yeah, so it alternates. Uh, so by the end of it, we'd have 30% extra max HP, 42% uh, max defense, and 50% damage. Unless it's uh, unless it it's not additive, it's actually multiplicative, at which point it's a little bit more, I think. Either way, could be cool. So let's take a look at Rockalong. Antiques are the only things that matter. Money is not, tr is not as trustworthy, though. It's managed by the church, but very unreliable. Today you are rich, tomorrow you're a bitch. For me, only collectibles are reliable. For thieves and bandits, their crap's worth nothing. Every trip to the ruins will leave some corpses there. 
I envy you so much. If I were as strong as you were, maybe she could... Sorry, I'm talking to myself again. Take this, help yourself. The runes are dangerous places, and this may be helpful. Yo, you're alive! You're certainly lucky, only a few adventurers made it. But, luck is not the only thing that it takes to have the crown. Adventurers come and go, famous ones, without a glimpse of the crown. And ain't easy, ain't, ain't easy, I say. Lucky for you to come back alive. You better leave this place if you want to live longer. With inspiration, it just comes out. Without inspiration, it just won't. Your weapons are more reliable than men. Arms don't think, but we do. Okay, so merge. So can I can I just jam like uh, two weapons together? Let's test with the needle. Okay, so I do not have a I do not have actually have any equipment uh, or items or anything like that to to merge together there. But we have more things. So the house of divination. Divinations is grandma's gimmicks, but people is buying it for some reason. Okay. You'll tell me where you're- you'll tell me where you're from, I'll tell you who you are. Fate Divination. Prosperous. Wanna change your fate? 200 G will do it. Nah. Okay, so there- there's businesses back here. So, expand warehouse. Hmm? Any good thing? Private warehouse. So this is where we can drop stuff off, so I'm just gonna drop off one of these bells. Um... Maybe one of the poisons, a sleep thing, and a flea arcana. Maybe the fungi potion? Probably the stamina potions? Okay, in basement. What's in the basement? What is the basement? Where am I going? What am I doing? Okay, so this looks like some kind of training area, so let's... Let's not do that. Okay. What's this one? Nobody's here. Cool! So that's everything now. Awesome! Well... I guess I'm just gonna reiterate things, uh, just, just so nobody forgets, everybody remembers, and, uh, whatever. Okay, so the game is coming out September 28th, I think, like, out of early access. Uh, I don't actually know what, like, the differences are, they haven't told me if there's any major updates or whatever. It just says, game launch announcement September 28th. Uh, so consider yourselves notified. And like I said, uh, there's a mechanic, effectively, when your party dies, you can post on social media pretty much anywhere you want, uh, and somebody else can potentially come rescue you. So if any of you guys actually want to pick this game up, it's not expensive. I think it's like 10 bucks, maybe 15 as far as like roguelikes go. I'm liking it a lot. I like the I like the music. The gameplay seems kind of fun. The variety of characters is nice, and uh, I know sometimes it's nice to play a slower paced roguelike along the way, especially when it looks as good as this does. I love this art style. Uh, but yeah, so if any of you guys want to pick it up and, uh, you know, <laughs> catch me when I fall, that actually would be really cool. So, I guess with this, uh, thanks so much, uh, for watching. I'll see you guys next time. I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna do a number of these episodes. We've got, I'm, technically I'm contractually obligated to do four of these, but I might do a couple of streams of it here and there, uh, and definitely adding this to the roguelike roulette. Uh, so we'll, we'll figure out an exact schedule on how these videos are going to come out. And if you guys like it enough, this will just turn into a real series until I actually beat the game or something. Because I don't mind doing that. Anyway, with that, see you guys next time. And as always, thanks for watching. Oh, one other thing I should probably mention is uh, I'm actually going to be streaming this game tonight. Uh, it's the only day that I could fit. Uh, so I'm going to see if I can get kind of far, see how it goes, see if I can die. Uh, <laughs> so we can actually see the the uh, the rescue mechanic in action because I really want to see how that goes and uh, obviously I want to get further I want to see what the rest of the classes do you know maybe get some swank equipment who knows I don't but uh, so the thing about this stream is obviously going to be streaming it and I'm going to be doing a giveaway I've got three keys to hand out and I might hand one out to a uh, volunteer rescuer uh, or I might just hand them all out at random we'll see how it goes uh, but so if you guys, uh, possibly want to get your hands on a, on a key for Mad Crown, stop by tonight. Uh, it's probably going to be around, what, 8 p.m. EST. Uh, so if you, if you do want to see that, if you do want to have a chance at getting the game, drop by then.